This engine you coming up is a CP C424 Phase 2. And my good friend Willie, he put in some LED lights for the headlights and the number board. And they are really, really bright. Right now you can't tell from this day shot, but uh, when we do a night shot, she is bright. Very good job. He's got uh, reverse lights as well. Looks real good. I'm very happy with it, okay? So uh, let's take a look at it at uh, night time. Here it is coming up the hill with the headlights. Look at that brightness. Those LEDs are really, really bright. I like them. I'm very happy with the job or the brightness of that uh, LEDs. I gotta do that to uh, a couple other units. That looks real good. So this is the front of the unit and then uh, We'll uh, take a look at the back of it as it comes up again. Okay, so there's two settings on the reverse slide. This is one of the settings. And then we have that setting. Now that is a bright light coming in. That looks so real. And you see that coming at you. Look at that. That's cool. Okay, well, let's go back to the other light for a second. Turn that off. There you go. That's the other light. The two lights. And then you have the... Uh, running lights I would say there we go isn't that cool that looks so bright alright so that's the CP, CP unit uh, he also did a THB unit for me as well and uh, we'll take a look at that next okay this is the back of the CP and we have the uh, number boards lit up let's uh, light them up there's the number boards lit up now let's go with the other light, the two little ones, underneath the mark, or underneath the number board. And now let's go with the full headlight. Now turn off the uh, mark, or the uh, two little ones, and also the number board. And look at that. Isn't that cool? Thank you. Okay, this uh, unit coming up is a THMB Jeep 7. It's also got the LEDs that I, that Willie put into them. And they are bright too, look at that. That looks nice. This one doesn't have a number board or lights, but it just has the two headlights and they are nice and bright, look at that. It's also a uh, Atherin unit, not an Atherin, an Atlas unit, I should say. One of the older ones. Uh, we had to change out the uh, decoder on this one because the uh, previous decoder I had was an old Atherin decoder and it went, it stopped working for some reason. So we just put a Digitrax decoder and he put it in for me. So it looks, looks good and runs well now. So that's what it looks like during the day, and we'll do a night, sh night shot in a minute. And here it comes up. Look at that night scene. Isn't that cool? That looks so cool. Looks just like the real thing. Well, I'll tell you what, LED lights make a big difference. They really do make a big difference on the lights. 
Okay, we'll take a look at the other side as well. Okay, so this is the reverse lights on the same unit. And it's bright as well. I don't think it's, it's as bright as the front, but it's real good too. I think, like I said, the uh, LEDs make a big difference on lighting. All right. Uh, well, welcome back to the layout. Over here, what you're looking at is the uh, crossover just outside of Smithville here. Following along. Then this other switch here goes to the Dun Dunville sub. And then back on this side, this other switch goes into graphical. So what we're working on right now, we got uh, the tortoise machine for this and for the crossover in and also for this switch here we have it in and then the crossover over here okay so we're underneath the layout right now and the two switch machines that we're looking at is one for the crossover and one for the uh, Dunville sub now we have them wired in there in that little terminal block right there the orange wire that you see is going to be going to the switch and the other orange wire is going to come over to the other crossover so when you throw the switch it's going to throw two switch machines for the crossover alright so that's what we're working on there's the other terminal strip for the other switch machine. And this is the other side of the crossover. And the other switch is going into graphical. So we're going to have the orange wire going to be wired into that terminal strip right over there. And that's the crossover. Let's see if I can get it in better with all the wires. There we go. A little bit better. So that's going to be the terminal strip for the other crossover, and that's where the other brown wire is going to come into. All right, and then this terminal strip is going to be wired for that tortoise, which is going to be going into graphical so that's the next project so this is a little bit of a difficult job because it's underneath the layout and I kinda have to lay down let me zoom out there we go so we put these floor mats down again onto the layout and we kinda have to lay down on our back over here and then reach underneath to get all this wiring done. It's a little bit of a back breaking job but uh, it's getting done. Okay, so I'll keep you going, keep you posted as we uh, continue on. 